old lady was assaulted before the robber decamped with cash and valuables at Hatigarh Charayali. According to the victim Ranjana Sharma, the robber entered her flat at the Rodali apartment after her son left for Tinsukya in view of Bihu festivities. While gracing an occasion in Jorhat, the much-admired writer and novelist Chetan Bhagat said that there is no dearth of talent in the northeastern part of India, but due to lack of proper platform, their talents are not recognized. He also assured that all professions must be equally respected, while adding that everyone is expert in one way or another, and one must work keeping in mind the strength that one possesses. Under NRL's proposed refinery expansion project, a 28-inch diameter, 1,400-kilometer-long crude oil pipeline of 1 mmTPA capacity will be laid for transporting 6.0 mmTPA of imported crude oil from Paradi port in Odisha to New Malivar in Assam. The tripartite MOU was signed between Chairman Paradi Port Trust, Rinkesh Roy, Director of NRL and BJ Bhukan and ED. Arunachal Pradesh has taken a major leap towards sustainable agriculture practices for producing healthy and quality food crops with the Union Minister of State for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Giridaj Singh by launching the State Organic Mission. The state hopes to shift to organic farming in a phased manner and become a 100% organic state in the days to come. Home Minister R. Lal Zirliana said that Mizoram government is ready to carry out repatriation of Bru families lodged at relief camps in Tripura anytime. In a press conference, Mizoram Home Minister said that the state government has completed all formalities which were supposed to be done in connection with the repatriation process.